Jimmy, I just can you teach all. Hi, welcome to the Silver Spleen. My name is Bootsy Collins, and this is my review of Baby Blues. I watched Baby Blues at the Dynasty, because that's really where it deserved to be watched. As I tweeted before the screening, I watch movies, so you don't have to. I saw it in 2D at 12.30 in the afternoon on opening day, because it was 30 Hong Kong dollars. Even so, I think I got robbed. Well, maybe that's not fair. $30 to sit in a chair for 90 minutes in an air-conditioned room in Hong Kong is actually a pretty good deal. It would have been better without all that light and noise on the front wall of the room, but Baby Blues is the story of a couple who buy a house with a funny-looking doll in it. Ah, yating yaolun. No, not that doll. This doll. You can tell that it's evil because it has blue eyes. Say guaylo. An old homeless man who lives across the street tells this young married couple that they should move out. Do they listen? Do they? F they stay in the house and... You know what? I'm not going to expound on the plot. Because this movie is such a pile of garbage that I refuse to waste any more of my life than I already have. Don't misunderstand me. Baby Blues is actually a historic and very impressive film for all the wrong reasons. It's so bad, you can't believe it. It's so badly made, you can't stand it. It's such a mess that you can't understand it. You know, I, I've been saving this thing I'm about to show you for a special occasion, and I think Baby Blues is special. It's so special that they delivered this film to cinemas in a short bus. So, I present to you our occasional guest reviewer, the Silver Spleen Howler Monkey. <laughs> because howling is exactly what I was doing all the way through this dramatic cluster f parading as a film. I don't usually mind looking at Kate Choi, but she's given absolutely nothing to work with here, either in terms of character development or dialogue or revealing outfits. It's hard to bring a character to life when it's written that poorly. Now, I already knew that Raymond Lam Fung is a pretty lousy actor, and I guess since I'm not a teenage girl, I don't find him attractive enough to overlook his complete dearth of thespianism. But you know what? He can act at least as well as he can sing. He plays the husband of a woman who may be suffering from postpartum depression. This woman is played by Janelle Singh. You know what? They should have hired Janelle Act. She portrays mental illness and obsession in utterly comic book terms, which makes it impossible to believe in her character, much less to empathize. Irene Wan plays twins in a segment of the movie that I can only describe as an expositional belch. <laughs> the only decent actors in this entire movie were Lo Hoi Pang as the crazy old guy that lives across the street on the sidewalk and Katie Cheng, who played the infant son. Katie convinced me she was great. The rest of the cast were entertaining only in terms of how horrendously they handled their roles. But you know what? They got a lot of company in the shit house. The director, the writer, the people that did the special effects, pretty much everyone. Except, you know, the old man and the baby, they were okay. Everyone and everything else was just crap. You know, 90 minutes of my life I'll never have back. Very few people will ever see this in the cinema because people are nowhere near as dumb as I am. And even fewer of them are going to watch it on DVD, but if you do decide to watch this, just because it's a completely shitty film doesn't make it okay for you to steal it. Don't download this movie. A, because it's really not worth it, and B, because it's just a shitty thing to do. So don't. If you want to watch this movie, you know, because you have a head injury, wait till it comes out on disc. I'll update the description. Buy a DVD. Do not buy a Blu-ray. If they release this movie on Blu-ray, the world is going to end. If you enjoyed my review, please leave me a comment and tell me. If you didn't enjoy it, please leave me a comment and tell me. If you think Raymond Lamb is a great actor, go fuck yourself. If you like my reviews in general, I would greatly appreciate a subscription. And please remember to follow me on Facebook and Twitter so that you can hear me complain about movies right away.